If not treated, HIV can damage the body's defense system and increase risk to other infections. Thereafter, the virus can affect many parts of the body, including the respiratory system, skin, and the nervous system. Welcome back, friends of Mark Medicals. In today's video, I will answer a question from one of our viewers. The question today is, what HIV does to your body? In this video, I will talk about the following. One, how HIV infects your body. Two, stage one of HIV infection. Three, stage two of HIV infection. Four, stage three of HIV infection. Five, why you need to get started on HIV medications urgently. If you are new to our channel or page, please subscribe so that you don't ever miss our weekly health tips from Mark Medicals. All right, let's get started now. One, how HIV infects your body following an HIV exposure and subsequently HIV infection. The virus after gaining entry into the body Attack special white blood cells called CD for cells, also called T helper cells. CD for cells and other family of white blood cells are responsible for body's defense against all diseases. HIV after identifying your CD for cells attaches to it and gains entry to the CD for cell. If HIV manages to enter into your CD cell. We say you have been infected by the virus. Upon entry, the virus orders your CD for cell to stop whatever it was doing and instead start making only copies of the HIV virus. In the process of making copies of the virus, your CD for swells and bursts immediately after releasing copies of the virus. As a result, your CD for cell counts begin to reduce, and over time, if your CD for cell count falls below 200, you will get what is called AIDS. You will suffer from AIDS because your CD for cells count is not enough to fight off body infections. Normal CD for cell count ranges from 500 to 1600 cells per cubic milliliters. 2. Stage 1 of HIV Infection HIV has infection has three stages, that is, stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3. Stage 1 is also called acute infection stage. This is the time that follows immediately HIV infection. In stage 1, the virus is rapidly multiplying in the body, while the person is not knowing. The common symptoms in stage 1 is only for like symptoms. In other people, reported symptoms include Fever Muscle pains Headache Rash Swollen lymph nodes and fatigue Note that the Persian in stage 1 is much more infectious than in the other stages. 3. Stage 2 of HIV infection. This is also called chronic stage of HIV infection. In stage 2, the virus is not multiplying rapidly as in stage 1, although the Persian is also infectious. Stage 2 is almost symptom-free, but if not treated, soon the patient would drift to stage 3, which is bad news. For stage 3 of HIV infection, stage 3 of HIV infection is also called AIDS. The virus has depleted CD for cells to below 200 cells. A person is said to have IDs when CD for cells fall below 200. 
or when the Persian develops an aedes defining opportunistic infection like toxoplasmosis, HIV-related cancers and others. In stage 3, the body's defense system is weakened such that the patient suffers from many illnesses and soon the patient may be bedridden. 5. Reasons you need to get started on HIV medications urgently. If left untreated, the patient over years will develop and die of AIDS. Note that AIDS is synonym meaning a collection of many diseases which comes your way once your immunity of CD4 cells have been destroyed. HIV medications stops the virus from multiplying, and with time, all the virus circulating in blood will be eliminated by the body of medications. If this happens, we say you have a suppressed viral load or undetectable viral load. By achieving this, you will live a health and a productive life. And what is so sweet is that you won't infect your loved ones with HIV. As I end this video, if you have any question, share it in the comment section below. Please share and like our videos. Thanks for subscribing.